Welcome back, I'm Danny the Dinosaur Drawer and today I'm going to be showing you all how to draw a saber tooth cat or a saber tooth tiger or Smilodon, whichever of the three names you prefer. I'm just going to call it um, saber tooth cat for now. So yeah, this is going to be a full body side view of the animal. Um, yeah, it's going to be great. So let's put an outline in first so we don't get any proportions wrong. It's got a deep chest and a thinner waist. I'm sure most of you know what I'm drawing. It's a mammal cat from the Ice Age era with two very long teeth. That's why it's um that's what's best recognized with is the teeth. So we'll put the face. head will be right about here. Neck have one leg back here or arm, I guess. The legs are back here. That's the basic outline. Pretty rough, but at least it'll make us do less mistakes. So yeah, since I don't want to smudge that much, I'm going to start on the left of the picture. Unless you're left-handed, then it would be better to go this way, but I'm going to go that way. So we'll start by putting in the eye. Leave a little white spot there. So obviously I'm not as good at drawing mammals as I am dinosaurs. Otherwise I'd be Danny the mammal drawer, but I can still do a pretty good job on saber tooth cats because I've drawn several before. Basically basically I like drawing almost any prehistoric type animals. Put in the nose here. The front section of the face would have the whiskers. With these little dots to show where the whiskers are. So you put a few whiskers in there. We don't want to make them too dark. That look bad. But feel free to put in as many whiskers as you feel like. Put some shading in around here to give it a more realistic look. And of course, now we'll add the two huge canines that it has on the upper jaw. I don't want to exaggerate the length though, so this is probably an accurate length, but still it's very, very long. And many scientists think that it had these long teeth to stab through mammoth fur, which could be one pretty good guess. But people still are not I don't think there's much evidence of sabers hunting in packs. They easily could have though. And that would have been a way easier way to catch a mammoth would be in a pack than by one saber tooth cat versus a huge mammoth. Because mammoths are immense and their fur is so dense and thick and long that it would be so hard to bite into it. Even for a saber tooth cat. So the fur is not that long on the face, but I'll still add some here. Put some of the teeth in. I'll add the ear, which will be laid back because the saber tooth cats um in an angry pose I guess too <laughs> so that's pretty good <clears throat> for the head 
Now I'll continue on to the neck. So use long, free pencil strokes when drawing the hair. And, um, you can make it saggy if you want. Like longer hair, but I'm going to keep mine relatively short. So the chest would be right about here. It's got a very deep chest. And the shoulder of the front arm. Right over here. The one cool thing about drawing mammals that's a little easier in my eyes than cats is that um, the dinosaurs you can have, since they got scales you have to um, draw the muscles better and stuff than and the cats. All this fur is covering it so it's, there's no need to actually get the anatomy correct. I'll erase a bit the lines here. Of course, I'm going to probably add some terrain here. I'm not going to put a full habitat in, but leave some ground for the cat to be standing on. So I'll put in this paw. Drawing a cat paw is much different than a dinosaur foot. I'm not that good at drawing cat feet. What I used to do when I was a little like I was terrible at drawing dinosaur feet, so I'd always put grass growing up next in front of the feet as a way of escaping to draw the dinosaur feet. But eventually, I had to do some drawings with the feet showing, and eventually, I got good at it. So, I have some shading here. And we're going to add in the extra arm here. With its paw. Like so. And now we'll add some more hair. And shade in. Like so. I add some stripes. The way I do stripes on a cat with fur just to draw some dark lines of hair. So that's pretty good for our arms, um, our saber tooth cat. Now we can head on to the body. Basically all we're going to be doing for the body is just hair. So use free strokes with your pencil. And if you want to show me this, your, like once you finish the drawing, please post it on my Google Plus community, which is called Dinosaur Art. You can find it on Google Plus if you just put in um, dinosaur art. And my community is the first to show up. And even though it says dinosaur art, I will gladly accept your saber tooth cat pictures. Because I would really like to see how it, yours turns out. If you made the teeth longer, if you added stripes, um, made the hair way longer, or stuff like that. So the stomach here, I'm going to make a little bit darker shade. I'm going to make this shoulder 
here a bit more lumped up to show more muscle there. So now we're going to add the back leg here. As you can notice, these the legs and arms of a cat are completely different than those of a dinosaur. Like even though mammals are more related to, or saber tooth cats would be more related to humans. The dinosaurs, like especially the theropods, their arms look more like humans than a cat's. The thing is, we never know what the dinosaurs, we'll never know what the dinosaurs look like. But we do know what cats look like, so the arms could have been different. But the way we draw them, they look pretty human-like. So I'm just going to add fur here. I'm going to add this tail. Saber-toothed cats are almost always depicted with rather short tails. I'll make mine a little longer than that. That was a little too short. I don't know if you, most of you probably have seen Ice Age, but Diego is the main saber tooth cat in that. I've drawn him before, but never in a video, but that could be fun. So if you would like me to do that, just leave it in the comments and I'll get to it in a while. Not sure when, because I have a long list of drawings that I have to complete. So for this back leg, we'll shade it in because it's hiding mostly behind this other leg. <clears throat> so therefore, it'd get less light since this is the inside. Put in the other paw. Add some more ground to give it a better look. And also, if you shade, put a shadow under saber tooth cat that helps a lot to give it a better look and I'll take my eraser and erase the smudge marks which I so tried to avoid but <laughs> they're inevitable but smearing your cat will actually be a good idea make it look more realistic so now all you really have to do is sign it. I'll assign my drawing with the three D's that stand for Danny the Dinosaur Drawer, which you guys voted on. Well, not really voted, but I gave you four options, and so this is the one you guys picked, or the most comments at least were for this choice. If you haven't checked out that video, you can go to my channel and find it, and leave a comment which one you think is the coolest. I'm just going to add some mount, snow-capped mountains in the background here. Of course, feel free to add any type of scenery behind your saber-toothed cat. I know these mountains look kind of childish, but they're cool. Or add sloping hills. Stuff like that. Makes the drawing look a lot, a lot funner. At least people enjoy looking at sceneries a lot. I've found that out. Like a lot of times, I'll draw dinosaurs, 
And they'll be like, well, where's the plants? Where are the trees? <laughs> I just like drawing the dinosaur a lot more than trees and stuff. So yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, leave a like, share it with your friends, and um, yeah, subscribe if you've not already done so. And check out my channel for the how to draw a mammoth in Jurassic World the game, which I released a few months ago. I'm sure if you like the saber tooth cat, you would like that video as well. And again, thanks for watching.